My lovely princess, my dog Nala, just turned 17 recently. Uh, as you know, at that age, they can be in a lot of pain because of severe posterior leg and hip arthritis. She has that. She's had it for a number of years, and it's been really difficult for her, especially over the last few months. Um, and it is kind of this crazy transition from thinking she was still a puppy to no longer being able sometimes to even stand up. So what I decided to do is I wanted to try something new, acupuncture. And join us now to talk further about this is veterinarian Dr. Jennifer Duthwaite, who has been giving Nala acupuncture the last month plus. And uh, I have to say, we also have Nala join us via Nala Cam from Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Nala also has lost her hearing, but she's as beautiful as ever. What's up, beautiful girl? You're so pretty. No, she does not like to Skype with me, so apparently she's not big on camera. But, but Jen, how does acupuncture work for animals? Uh, yeah, so um, acupuncture is the insertion of tiny needles into different points on the body to help stimulate a healing response. And it's not that different than how it works in people. You know, the body releases endorphins, so it's really good for pain control. Uh, we can relieve muscle spasms. Uh, there's all kinds of things that, that happen. I and think. I was amazed at how well Nala has tolerated these treatments. Yeah. And also the other great thing is that you actually do home visits because Nala, just like humans, doesn't necessarily like going to the doctor. So it's really cool to see how these treatments allow her to calm down. I, I, wanna, I also want to ask the two of you, because as your dogs get older, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to see them, you know, they decline. And you're, and you're watching this process. And the last thing you want to do is give them treatments that will hurt them. And that's why one of the reasons why I turned to acupuncture. Yeah, because a lot less side effects with acupuncture, right? Yeah, and that, that's one of the things that I love about it in geriatric patients especially is that I think we, we don't have a lot of side effects. You're not, there's, you know, with I think very few exceptions, there's you know, not too many harmful things you can do with acupuncture. And so I think it's a really nice option, especially for pain control. I think we're gonna see more of this. Before we go, I wanna talk about one additional treatment Nala just got, because it was the best one she's had. She had the best week of the last two, three months after you did this electrical stimulation treatment. And I, I have to say it was crazy because she was climbing stairs, which she hasn't done in months. And so the, whatever this did, it seemed to help. Yeah, and that's, th that's one of my favorite things to do in older dogs. So, so what we do is we put the needles in, just like a normal acupuncture treatment, um, and then we hook up electrodes and we send a current through those needles and then you know through the muscles and along those really important nerves. And so I've seen really good results, with, especially with mobility and weakness issues like Nala has kind of in her hind end. Good old Nala's getting a lot of TLC there, my friend. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. You have a dog who's been with you for 17 years. I got her my first year of medical school. Wow. And I'll tell you, they, you know, you'll do anything for them. But the most important thing that I've learned through this process, and anyone out there who's lost a dog or has an older dog knows, and Jen and I, we talk about this all the time, is, you know, you need to be ready. And I'm, I would never let her suffer. And I, I think it's really important to, you know, she's still happy. And the day she stops being happy, you know, I'll have to cross that bridge. And I, I just think it's a great option. If you are interested, we'll have some resources on our website to find someone who does acupuncture in your area. It's not as common as it is in humans, but it's becoming more so. And I wanna personally thank you, uh, Jennifer, for all the work and love that you've shown Nala. We really, really appreciate it. Nala, I love you.